Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Today, we're taking a look at the newest IP phone from Audio Codes, the C470 HD. The C470 HD is a certified from Microsoft Teams IP phone. It comes with a full touchscreen interface, 5.5 inch screen. It has some of the familiar controls right here at the bottom, but they are all part of this flat touch interface. The device also has a full duplex audio speakerphone with both Bluetooth and USB headset capabilities. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the device up close, connecting all the pieces, plugging it in, signing into Teams, and taking a look at the calling and meeting experience using this device. Let's dig in. The C470 HD touchscreen phone certified from Microsoft Teams by Audio Codes comes with a 5.5 inch graphical user interface with the 1280 by 470 resolution right up here. All of your buttons down here are all touch buttons. They are not the physical buttons that you would push on the older Audio Codes models. A very sleek flat surface for the front. You've got the receiver for the handset that comes with the C470 HD. Of course, the cord that you'll need to plug that in. And then your PoE Ethernet cable that comes with it as well, as the device is PoE capable. It also has Bluetooth 5.0 support. And as I mentioned, this is a native Microsoft Teams certified headset. Let's go ahead and get all the components connected and then get it plugged in. Before connecting all of our components, let's take a closer look at the device itself and some of the uh, components here. Right up front, you'll see our controls that are built in at the bottom, just like you'd see on a regular phone, except this is part of the same flat surface that the uh, touchscreen extends down into. You've got your uh, headset button here to transfer audio to the headset, your speaker button in the bottom left corner. You've got a transfer button right down here as well. And then right up top, of, right above that, you've got mute. This is our home button here in the center. We can hold a call. We can go back or return in the menu. And then of course, our volume up and down right there. Over on the side, this is where we'll plug in the uh, handset that we were just went over a second ago. Our USB capabilities in case you want to plug in a USB headset right there. We've got a auxiliary port. We've got another ethernet port here as well if we want to connect to uh, our device to the internet through our desktop or laptop and then of course the internet connectivity your poe cable they provided will go right in here if you don't have poe capabilities there is optionally a port for another power adapter over to the side and then finally on this side we've got our kensington lock on the very bottom of the device we've got a series of uh, grippy little circular grippy surfaces to keep the device from sliding around on your desk. And with that tour, let's get all of our components connected and get it plugged in. And for the purposes of this video, I'm using my own red PoE cable because it is, it is far longer and uh, the distance between the device itself and my PoE connection point is a little longer than the cable I've got uh, with the device. So plug that in here, flip it around. It is coming to life. As the device comes online and our team's phone is starting, uh, I'll mention that we do have a full duplex speaker phone built in here. So the device can either be, you can either use the handset, use a USB headset, Bluetooth capabilities, or you've got the full duplex speaker phone capabilities as well. Here we are at the Microsoft Teams sign-in screen. This is exactly where it takes us when we first plug the phone in. We'll click sign in. Now, what I like to do instead of signing in from the device here and having to pack in all the numbers, which you can do, I like to say sign in from another device. This gives me a code and it allows me to log in from the browser. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. As soon as I input the code, I then have to sign in. Uh, it is signing me in now on the device. Now that I've signed in from my laptop, pretty handy. I do have MFA set up for this account. With my MFA code entered, I go ahead and click verify and it will finish signing the device in and registering the device uh, so that I can access it eventually within the devices section of the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. There we go, once we're signed in, lets us, uh, gives us the generic little greeting that we get on all of our devices. We say, got it. And we get the 
really similar home screen to what you see on our other devices. On the other devices, you uh, with a more uh, horizontally oriented screen, you'll have these four menu items sitting off to the right with this section off to the left. Uh, since we have a more vertical screen here, we've got the options right here down at the bottom. Your, all the normal stuff you're used to seeing, your calls, the people app, which is your contacts, the calendar app, so that if you have a meeting to join, you can do that right from here as well. And then of course, accessing your voicemail. Down at the bottom, this button is your home button. So if I were to go over to my voicemail, for instance, and I click back on my home button down at the bottom, it takes me back home. Going into my calendar, it will show me any scheduled meetings that I've got right here and allow me to join them. Optionally, I can also click on the create a new meeting button right there. It allows me to put a title, schedule a meeting, invite people to it, I can share it to a channel if I, uh, if I want to do that as well. So pretty handy capabilities to be able to create a meeting right from uh, the interface here. Our call screen, uh, like you might expect, you've got the call dial pad hidden underneath of your calls button. So if we click the call button, there's your dial pad. It gives you your people uh, contacts connection right up in the upper right hand corner here. Call park is tucked into the upper corner as well. Once you've punched in your number, you can call it from right here. And if we click on more, this gives us the other options that are kind of hidden from the spot of menu. We can also reorder those if we don't want to. Let's say that uh, calls and calendar were not the two things I wanted to show up down here. Maybe I want to reorder that and have the uh, people be up top. So I can grab the people and I'll drag it up here. Uh, and then there we go, down at the bottom, I've got that as well. If I really want to, I can grab voicemail and tuck that up here. Now we've got all of them that show at the bottom. I'll click save and once it comes back in, I'll have that custom interface ready to go. There we are, all right here back at the bottom. Now I don't have to click on the more, everything is already there. Clicking back down here on the home screen, it takes me back to home. Clicking in the upper right hand corner on your, uh, your name and profile image, all the regular device menu settings that you would normally expect to see. You can set your status, you can get a status message. If you have hot desking enabled, it's right there. If you click on what's new, it'll open a web page and lets you see what's new in Microsoft Teams. Uh, and then of course your settings can be accessed and any accounts and organizations that you are a guest of or signed into here, they're all available down here as well. Okay, at this time we have lowered the brightness on the screen so that we can A, see the screen better and B, see our controls down here a little better without uh, dimming them all out with the bright screen. So we're gonna go through having a call come into this device answering the call with the handset, so we don't have this horrible uh, back and forth echo. We'll mute the devices on both sides and then show a little bit about call management. I'm initiating the call now from a separate account and we see the call come through here. We'll go ahead and pick up and immediately we will mute. Now I'm gonna mute on the other side as well, just to make sure we get no feedback Audio is coming through the handset at this point. We go ahead and say speakerphone. Now we can hang up the handset. And now we're using the speakerphone right here at the bottom for the, uh, the full duplex audio experience. Now we can switch to a headset if we've got one up here. If we go into the call transfer menu, we can search for people to transfer the call to. You'll notice right up top it says calls on hold. Since we're not gonna transfer anyone right now, we'll come back out here and say resume. And the call is resumed. With the call resumed, we'll come over here and we see that we can increase or decrease the audio or the volume. Uh, if we're on speakerphone and we find it's too loud, that might be handy. Maybe we're blasting our ears out using a headset. There's where you control the, the volume of the sound. Okay, we are now gonna demonstrate placing a call on hold. So from another machine, I am initiating a call to the C470HD. It is coming in, we're gonna say accept and we will mute the call just to make sure we get no feedback. Now we can of course uh, put the call on uh, hold through the menu built into the little Teams menu here. We're gonna build, uh, use the built in hold button right here. It's the little pause looking button. We push hold, it says you're on hold. So it's placing the call on hold. Now it says call ended, but fear not, the call did not actually end. As we can see, we have our call right up top. It says that it's on hold. We go ahead and click on resume. 
and it connects the call once again. So that is receiving and then placing a call on hold from the C470HD. Let's go ahead and hang the call up at this time. And now we can see what the experience is like if you've got a meeting scheduled and you're looking at the interface of the C470HD. Uh, without even having to go into calendar, we can see that we've got a meeting right up here. Notice this says notifications and notifications are turned on. We saw those in settings. You can turn that off so that nothing shows up here, uh, but we do get a notification. Not only do we have the notification that we can clear, but we have a one touch join option right there as well. If we go to our calendar, we can now see that we've got a meeting right up top and there is a little join button there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the home screen and from the home screen, we will click the join button. Now, as we are an external participant, we are going to have to uh, be admitted into the lobby, but we can see someone in the meeting should let us in soon. We went in uh, muted. We're joining as an attendee. It's not our organization. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and, and because we click join without lifting our hand set up, we are using the speaker phone. Uh, all right, so all good there. We will join the meeting from the other side. We are now joining the meeting from the other side with our audio off, uh, and we're still muted on this side. Now that I'm in the meeting, I'm gonna say admit, and we can see we are being admitted into the meeting. We have our audio off, so we don't have any uh, horrible echo going back and forth with these devices being in such close proximity, but that's your meeting join and meeting appearance experience using the C470HD as your meeting join device for audio. And there you have the audio codes C470HD native Microsoft Teams IP phone. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please splash it all around social media and don't forget to click the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of this video if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Always coming out with lots of great device videos and other how to's. Thanks again for watching, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next video. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys.